Never once had a grain of pasta. Never once had a grain of rice. Shallow pasta, grain of rice. No, I don't think I've ever shot it. Also, how hard are you farting that a bit of shit actually comes out? Well, I think you got it's a combo of the farts are hectic and watery. Eh? Your, your diet hasn't been too yeah. great, you know, and you're like, again, how have I not sharded? I don't know, maybe I have, and it's like COVID, I just had it, didn't know how to. You're mad dropping an end bomb with the Dave Chappelle bomb. <laughs> Damn, I did that. She doesn't need Chappelle's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just needs one gin and tonic in it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Bomb Squad uh, the podcast. Uh, did you just rift it? I did intersect the wheel microphone. Good man, right in the intro. Hey, welcome to the Bob Squad podcast. I'm Arm McCann, and as always, joined by my friend. I'm not your fucking friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Colin Gaddis. Welcome to the show, guy, guys. Uh, we're going to absolutely abuse the fact that we have a new podcast. Do you want to promote some stuff, Aaron? Waterfront Hall, 24th of June. Text me purchase from the Waterfront Hall website or indeed Ticketmaster.ie. I will also be uh, performing a live podcast at the Telegraph building on the 5th of May. Come join me. You'll not be there. You'll be in America. I'll be in America. Uh, you should have been as well. But unbelievable. I should have been as well. But you know, things things pop up and things go wrong, don't they? <laughs> Fuck my family. <laughs> also, if you live in the greater Dublin area, come and see me at Vicker Street on the 8th of September. We're doing Vicker Street, man. What the fuck am I playing at? We're not going to be here today. I had to go get a cable from Argos. You just leap into action. <sighs> um, this, the name of this podcast is going to be called There's Always Something. Just my luck. Just my luck. Fucking, we hit the lights every day in this podcast, or in this office. No. Every day, there's some sort of fucking spanner in the works. And today was a... a, 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 a <laughs> Sorry, absolutely malfunctioned there. Had to go to fucking... Uh, what is that one called? The Kennedy Center? Yeah. Bro. Shit, who was it? Zoo. Aye. Ah? No harm to the people, you know, being in there. I mean, there's fair play of the guard running the vape stall. Just vaping, you know, you know. Just vaping at the desk. Oh, you gotta get high on your own supply, like. Yeah, class. Be an ideal job if you're a hardcore vapist. I, I'd actually do a right shift in there now. Like, jump over to fucking Ziggy's egg there and get a head up just vape. Get a wee four four hour fucking work contract. I don't want to do bad actually. Just turn up and blast the heat and fucking vape away. Oh why? But we're cabled up. We're ready to go, and you'll be glad to hear because you would you'd have none of this. <laughs> that is the beef sound too, isn't it? Now? Yeah. Yeah. Is it the start of that Genesis song? It is. By Just Heath. I believe they sampled Godzilla soundtrack. I thought it was Simon says get the fuck out by, by Pharaoh Monch. Same, same, same beat. It's a world of samples. Aye. I put one on the car the other day for Maureen. I was playing that MIA, Paper Planes, and then I put on the Clash song where they take that wee noise from. Yeah. And she was like, stop. Stop. I do like discovering a wee sample now. It's fun whenever you're like, oh, I recognize this from somewhere. It's uh, it's my way of, you know, um, pretending that I'm intelligent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just ruin, like a, like old school hipster. Yeah. Someone will play a song and I'll be like, <laughs> you, you think you like that song? Yeah. That's not the original. It was actually an Elton John sample from Skepta. And then there's like an aisle in the back. When I go like, this is actually from this. And then he's like, no, it's not. It's actually from another thing. And then I'm like, shut up. Yeah. Well, everyone's got that thread. At least you aren't like IPA guys or something like that. Yeah. Well, we're not slapper about IPA guys because I may be getting my own beer. <laughs> So for here on out, is it IPA? I love IPAs. Well, I don't know. I might just go for a more multi-purpose lager. Aye, uh, go for an old pishy lager. Good old pishy lager. You know uh, one you fucking like a Bud Light. Stone cold them together. Yeah. Are you gonna drink Bud Light ever again since they went full trans? I'm actually drinking more of it now. <laughs> I, I fully support it. It's so American to be like uh, more worried about that than anything else going on in the country. If I like a product, I wouldn't give a fuck who's behind it. No, I wouldn't care. You couldn't get me if the guy had it in his asshole. Oh, I, I wouldn't give a Which shit. Which I've seen videos of girls with tins in their ass. Yeah. <laughs> and then does that put you off drinking it? Not at all. <laughs> Do you like lukewarm Stella? I've drank beer that was kicking around the back foot well in my car for like three weeks. Oh, I. To <laughs> blow the dust off it. No, I've seen like videos of you know like you know deep south guys. Being like, I'm never drinking a fucking Bud Light again. And then they get in the monster truck and drive over like four crates of it. Yeah. You're like, you just give them the money. And they're, and they're wearing like flared jeans and fucking, you know, crocodile boots. Yeah. There's a gay as shit. <laughs> I can't be seen having a goddamn Bud Light. And they've got the wee spinny things in their boots. <laughs> the wee spurs. And the, I'm over here, my assless chaps, <laughs> drinking goddamn Bud Light. I will never in my days. There's a trans person. Some sort of she-male over here with the Bud Lights. <laughs> I tell you what's gay. <laughs> 
I thought drinking beer that's designed for a child was gay. <laughs> yeah, the guys that said it's gay, and they're like, I'm gonna go back to my man cave. <laughs> my man cave. And drink I got beer. table. I got table football in there. <laughs> There's no ladies. No, no ladies allowed. None of that gay feminine energy to get in the way of us. I dudes. got 17 Blu-rays. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Final Destination. Avatar. <laughs> Shade, by the way. These gays are taking my low calorie, low strength, cute little tins of beer. That's a perfect hybrid of like and, summer man and saucy black and lady. And ruining it. Oh, it's a fine line. <laughs> Ain't nothing gay about this <laughs> tiny little tan that fits in my hands. Mm-hmm. I was thinking more Tiger King. You know? Nothing gay about my low calorie beer. Keep my head <laughs> slim for when I'm riding some fucking horses or something. I'm not supposed to drink this on the porch for the boys. How am I supposed to slip my jeans over my fat <laughs> hips for my boyfriend cowboy to suck my dick? If I'm on high calorie beer, I want low calorie beers. God damn it. I can't be fishing with high calorie beer. I can't be fishing with me and my secret boyfriend. <laughs> with a pint of Guinness? I'll be fat as shit. How am I supposed to clap? I can't clap cheeks on a belly full of Guinness. <laughs> I gotta be in a low calorie light beer. Bud Light. Yeah. Low calorie, small tan. <laughs> Tastes like blood. A little bit. Kinda. But you gotta drink. Like when we were in Austin and you'd arrived early and filled that fridge up. This, this, the fridge was singing to me when I opened it. Oh, it was oh. great. It's great. You know, you crack it open, you're like, oh, rank, we're here. I was just like, let's go with the environment, you know? So I stocked it up with Bud Lights and White Claws. Yeah. You know? Two of the drinks. If you want to drink all day. When in Rome. Absolutely. You got to have the claws and the Bud Light. The claws will bring you back out of a bad hangover now. Uh, that's, that's what all those sort of anti gay Americans are going to be doing. It is now less gay <laughs> for me to drink White Claws <laughs> out of a martini glass. Than it is for me to have a goddamn hot light. What's Shane Gillis gonna do? He's your mate. I think it probably stop. He'll probably just keep drinking. To yeah. be honest, I don't think I don't think anybody with a sane brain gives a fuck. I, I I don't know about any other product that's like a per, like a personality trait. Mm. You know? Yeah. Like it's a like it's a political statement to be doing it. Yeah. At the minute, yeah, it's crazy. You know? It's just a beer, like. Yeah. There's not a face you could put behind Stella, and I wouldn't keep drinking it. Savile presents. Dead on. Gary Glitter presents <laughs> Warm Stella. It's grand. Vladimir Putin, pictured here. With putting a, my mouth. Putting in my mouth. Putting it down the toilet. Putting away 16. <laughs> Before I leave the door. <laughs> I, had, I laughed at Dave last night. We were in the green room of Lavery's and uh, we were talking about, we were actually talking about that clip of that old man going like, I go in for the full 17 pints. Yeah. And he goes, ah, what's the point? Like, if you're going to have a couple of drinks, have a Coke or something, have a nice drink. It, absolutely. And a guy, Zarin's mate, was there and he was like, would you have a wee glass of red? And he goes, aye. After 37 curse light. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get into wine. I've had it before of like steak and all, but like I could never just sit and drink like a full, geez, I'm nearly there, a full bottle. You know what I mean? Like, or if you're at like a music festival and you're trying to get drunk the cheapest way you can, uh, a wee bottle of rose is probably the handiest. You fucking tornado the fucking Echo, yeah. Echo Falls in there. My uncle's sank just fucking. <laughs> Remember I tried that and you had a fucking aneurysm? <laughs> I don't know how that boy does it. Uh, just scared. No, it, it's. It, well, first of all, you're on COVID. Now, that's embarrassing because I went to say I'm coordinated and I couldn't say. I got my teeth in, man. The Invisalign King the is Lord's back. The Lord's on my side. The Invisalign <laughs> King is back with a mouthful of plastic. <laughs> Trying to whistle. And uh, you fucked that bit up and then you went to drink it. Then you need that big old gape throat. Aye. You just can go like... Ah, 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 yeah. Ah. You can just like... I, you can just like fucking pour it down you like concrete. I can't... That's gay. I can't do that. What, pouring drinks down you? No, just being able to open your gape. <laughs> And I'll get fruit in them. I can drink a Bud Light in 0.3 of a second. I just open my fucking uh, anaconda throat. A shotgun and beers, gay, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. It's a messy too. It's it's a lot of admin, like you gotta get the car keys, stab it, man. I saw I mean I saw a guy do it with his teeth, that was pretty gangster. Just bit it. Yeah. <laughs> but like you can't no, I don't I don't understand. Like, can you just pour it in a cup and drink it real quick? Yeah. Same with drink. Do you like drinking games? Or not really? Not really. No. I don't like a guy that like forces everyone. Nothing that's not like really quick yeah like it used to be that one where you would just sit across from the other person and put a card in your head and go fucking lower and then look at it and it's lower and you go oh well and take a drink or down it drink just a drink aye yeah uh, the dining thing down ones are tough because like even kings there i've seen a few boys end up in casualties from a dirty paint yeah that's the worst part like that's absolutely stinking dirty pints i mean like that used to be a big thing at someone's birthday you're like do you want to have a dirty pint and you just fucking like like you're you're sending the guy home in a 
in an ambulance like i haven't been out and then one time we were at noma like we were like fucking 18 and he ordered a dirty pint <laughs> he was just like just throw lock stuff on a pint for me oh my God. and i'll pay whatever <laughs> I'll yeah. pay whatever. <laughs> I was one of them boys just left school, went straight into work and just had money. To f- didn't know what to do with it. Ordering dirty pints. Give us a dirty pint. Yeah. We 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 bit of ice in it. Yeah. Soften it up. Straw. I was drinking with your people at the weekend there. Oh, why? How'd you get on? Animals. Yeah. Just a lot of a lot of sing- a lot of just r- singular guys pished. Look in the chat, you know. I didn't know that still went on. Just the felt I'm going out. I'm going out. Four o'clock here. I'll not be back. Yeah. I'm away to fucking melt some strangers. Oh, I. Uh, well, uh, nothing like a chin wag and a smoking area. Oh, uh, you crack lad, no. Uh, They've got the walk. They've got the I'm walking over to you to talk shite walk. Yeah. The sort of, uh, well, 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 yeah. Put the head down. Put the head down. Just act like I'm going to appear beside you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, look at this scenario. Just roared your shoes for <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Come here. No, roaring your mouth. <laughs> Let me get close to you right there so you can hear me. That's what you do here. And then the. Come here. Yeah. Burping, you know. Weird chippy burp off to the side. Smell a regal coming off them. Smell a regal. Yeah, but it's a weird place to go out. Oh my. I can see why you don't do it that often. Though. No. No. Text you. You were like, no. I'm Watch the movie, uh, Mother. I'm in bed with my ma here watching the movie. Ah. Netflix and Chill. Emily the Criminal. Good show, too. What's that about now? She's doing dummy shopping where you get the fake credit cards and, you know, you buy a TV and then they flip it. And these boys run the kind of rig around it and they pay her $200 per TV. And then just whole pile of twists and turns. Good show. Mm. Uh, Ma's a big fan of the thriller now. It's her favourite genre of film. Thriller? Uh, nice. She couldn't do, uh, you know, she wouldn't be into what, like a psychological one either. No. You know, it has to be just, you know. Like a horror thriller? Uh, her favourite one probably is like a doll in a house, a boy comes in, bad boy, with a knife or a gun. And she's like, can I have that bastard? <laughs> like every time it does a trick for my law is a woman running away from a man who has a weapon and she figures out a way to get out of the house safe. She's like, you get him, girl. Yeah. Oh, you, big feminist. Is she? Oh, uh, I love thought, it. I thought she hated her. No, nah, she hates women. She literally <laughs> hates women. <laughs> if, we're, if, we're like, if we're going down the street and a group of women walk past, she's like Andrew Tate. Is she? <laughs> yeah. Women are stupid. Fucking shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ditties out fuck it. I am at that age now where I'll come out of Lavery's and they go to Holy Lands once I'll be heading down to Limelight and I'm like I'm literally just like why are you wearing no coat yeah like I'm wearing a fucking body warmer and a hoodie and you're just rolling down the street in a fucking sports bra and you'd be like are you not cold and I'd be like get the fuck out of town I'm not a fucking merchant you're a fucking disgrace yeah you'd be dying tomorrow yeah why do, why do they do that lads as well just t-shirt Pishing, are they just like I can't be arsed with the admin of a coat to be fair that's yeah that's what I would have been yeah I wouldn't brought a coat anywhere I definitely left on a, at least about five occasions, just left my coat because I wasn't queuing up to get it back. Yeah, I that's, just, that's, yeah, just yeah, that's like, the thing. It, let, it, let it live there now. And you're a student, so you don't want to pay for a cloakroom either. Like, you know. Nah. Three pound down the drain, that could it? That's fucking. You look at it across the year, you're like, if I pay a pound every time in this gaff. Yeah, it's two yoga bombs. That's 48 pound a year. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That better in my pocket. I miss it, though. Like, I miss the box, 90p shots. That was great. You'd still end up spending about sixty pound a night, and oh yeah, it doesn't matter how cheap they are. But I remember that night they had in there when it was called Precious and Sunday. They had fifty p pints. What? Yeah, the, the box was called Precious at a stage after or before it was the box. I think that's mental. Or I think it was the box and then Precious and the box again. Fifty p pints. That sounds like you'd have to go to Prague for that or something. But it was just it was in a window. Of the, I don't know whether they were just trying to empty the kegs for the Monday. Yeah, they're not open oh, all day. Fair enough. They're just like, do you want this old fucking slop? Yeah, that's a dirty pint. Aye, uh, prison pints. I uh, just, I just made in the bathtub. Just gruel, gruel. Uh, but yeah, you would just fucking. You would. It was only. It was from. Like, it was, I think it was to get people into the club, instead of having them wait. So they would get you in like nine to eleven or something. They would do fifty p pints. You'd be playing pool, but then you'd be absolutely fucking decked by about eleven o'clock anyway. <laughs> fucking right. Off four pound. Boys just doing that arc of boke, you know that where it's in your mouth and on the floor at the same time. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, <been> there. <laughs> Yeah, like a perfect fountain just that was one of the great uh i probably told you this before like when i was living at home years ago like heard this r- sort of racket outside the thing and, like opened the blinds in my bedroom and there's a fella just stumbling up the road and then he just let out an absolute like jackass style like ha yeah ha two big pumps of it it's about fucking <laughs> it was just a fucking rainbow of fucking beer what was the Haw! pause between each boke it was like <laughs> he, he didn't bend over he was like Aah! and then <laughs> fucking disgusting he went like Aah! and then he fucking walked the call bits and wiped his mouth and then, again but he fucking I mean like it was probably like 
four liters of beer each time. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what do you have to drink to yeah. do that? Just neck and pints, I think. Loads and loads of pints. See, shots would leave me like that. If I take shots at all now, <laughs> I probably will bulk like. Yeah, but I think just based on the volume of this guy, I think it was just a lot of beer. I had a full bath of him. <laughs> yeah. There's no word for that to go. Like, can't piss that out quick enough. I did that the time I had a hundred chicken nuggets. I like bulk like that. Like, it was the most, like, jackass style, dirty Sanchez, well, uh, dirty bulk. Well, once once we get on the 500 patrons, that's your challenge. Eat a hundred nuggets again? Yeah. I don't know if I can do that again. I don't know if lightning can strike twice. You can always try. Uh, did you get them all down, you? hundred? Oh, I. And I went to the hospital the next day. Did you? And I got my bloods done. <laughs> Because I was in school, like, you know, flexing it. And then my friend Laura was like, that's actually really silly. Like, that's 30,000 milligrams of salt you've consumed. And she's like, that's terrible for your heart and all. And I was like, fuck. And then I, like, Googled it. I mean, like, I ralphed it back up. Uh, about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I went into the hospital and, you know, they were like, why are you in here getting your blood done? Sure, you're a young fella. And I was like, well, an accident you know, what happened, Beatrice, was uh, I had a hundred chicken nuggets yesterday. And then it was great. They took my bloods, made me tea, talked to me about their daughters. It was great. Well, so that now we know that, we'll rinse the nuggets before you eat them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll put them in a sieve and like rinse the salt off them. And then you can I, if you throw the 100 nuggets <laughs> in a nutri bullet and just blend it, I'll drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a hot nutri bullet nugget shake. <laughs> I see. I, I seen this video online. It was a guy going like the the guy's dad was probably about fifty something. Yeah, and he's like, you know, my dad's always been in tremendous shape and all, and you know, the, I don't know what he worked as, but he's like, he works these long shifts, and this is what he eats to like keep the protein up. And he literally was like, cooked chicken and like cabbage and something else and something else, and then like milk or something, and just whizzed it up. And he's just oh, like, I, and he didn't even drink it on the spot. He's like, I take this to work in a in a box, like. And then when, I'm, you know, it's lunchtime, I sit around with the old cabbage soup and just fucking glug it down. But the mom was ripped, like. There'd be some fucking <laughs> bong of that in the staff room. Oh, yeah. Some who opens that up. Holy fuck. Place or, is filled with milliseconds. Walk, walking about the rest of the day. Oh, I, that's... Excuse me. <laughs> the police would search your bag, though. And everyone's just boking all over the place. Sorry. I, did, I had a load of fucking... Like, cabbage and loads of protein powder and all. Yeah. Uh, that will give you that fucking, like... <laughs> tuba f- arse you know what I mean just for the next every time you walk where burr, 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 burr. Uh, you got Motown hole what have you <laughs> <laughs> what have you ever eaten that give you like the worst arse of all time probably like like the, the kind of standard ones like Brussels sprouts like getting an old toot going like you know what I mean? that'll fucking tune up the band right like <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> but even, but I mean, we've talked, we've talked at length about how loose your hole is. Oh yeah, any strain at all. I actually, I'm getting concerned about it. Like I, I haven't googled it yet because I'm like, what does it mean if you keep farting every time you laugh? <laughs> like how loose is my sphincter? Like it does need a drawstring on it. With this, I've got like, before. I've got like nursing home hole yeah. at the age of twenty. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't shed your cacks every day. Every time you cough or something, like you'll just be like, <laughs> weird enough, never sharded. That's no. something I can, yeah, that's something I can take with me, you know. Yeah, I've never shot it either. I don't no. think. Um. <laughs> Have you ever shot it now? No, I don't think so. You don't. Oh, you'll never forget it. If it happens, like I don't think so. There's pre and post shot, like in terms of living your life. No, 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 I don't think I've ever shot it. Also, how hard are you farting that a bit of shit actually comes out? Well, I think you got. It's a combo of the farts are hectic, and. Watery, yeah, shit. Yeah, your diet hasn't been too yeah. great, you know, and you're like, again, how have I not sharded? I don't know, maybe I have, and it's like COVID, I just had it, didn't know how to. <laughs> Tell a lie, I, I might have told this before. <laughs> I, 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 I just remembered. I remember being in Vietnam, and just like, I mean, the whole time I had the shits, and then I was standing, I was like in the fully fucking belly bollocks, shaving my head yeah. in the fucking mirror, yeah. and I just absolutely unloaded in the bog, bunch of, not, <laughs> bunch of fucking putrid farts, and yeah. then one of them, I just went like, and thought there was another fire coming about and just like it was on the floor <laughs> so technically speaking didn't shart because it was already naked no it has to touch boxers for yeah. it to be a shart you've just shit on the floor the sheets clean yeah I just I just went like that wasn't air and looked around it was basically on my, down my leg and me with a head full of fucking shame foam looking like a lunatic if someone had walked in and I just had foam all over my head and shite down the floor. my leg like what happened? Did you know as soon as it happened, or did you? I like- heard the splat. <laughs> <laughs> Who won a Nickelodeon award in here? <laughs> <But like, but laughs> Goop my own fucking legs. Oh my god! But uh, the good thing about <laughs> Vietnam is almost every bathroom is like a wet room, you know. So yeah. I was just hosing it down the, the fucking the hole. And if you're gonna do that, like you know, hotel is the place to do that as well. No, that's a Sean's flat. You don't really. Have- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a hotel and I just shot in the bed. Oh my god. <laughs> was it on tiles or what? <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't have carpet in the bathroom, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I was, it could have been like, I don't know. I suppose I <laughs> <laughs> You got me there, Satan. <laughs> Check me up. Get behind me, Satan! I mean, the, the fun thing about that sort of place is, you know, you're at a bar drinking, and then you're like, you go into the toilets, and you're like, oh, I totally forgot that it was just a hole in the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, too, all the food you're eating out there is going to give you, like... Oh, the air gives you the shits? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm nearly sure just, like, the amount of dirt in the air and, like, you sweating into your own fucking mouth is enough to give you oh, tapeworm. You definitely nearly get me out there now. It's definitely, like, whenever you come back to Throne, you know, when you, you do take in the air, you're like... Ah, oh, it's great. It is great. Even though. if I come back from Belfast and I'll come out in the morning, and I'm like, ah, cow shite. And, you know, it's organic at yeah. least. You know, you're like, this is, there's there's life in this. And air. the tap water's good. And, you know, tap water's good. Smells good. Not things you take for granted being from the town. What's your tap water like? Uh, at home, uh, it's fucking amazing. Not cloudy at all? Unbelievable. And that's just raw, like you aren't using like a thunder Straight jug or anything? Morning. Fucking hell, eh? Oh, Jesus. I mean, they let, do they not sell that in some form? Morn water? They should. I just imagine you go out in the morning with a fucking bowl on your head. <laughs> Scoop it up, walk back. I fetch the water. Let's make some bread. You do, you take it all for granted. Milk especially. Milk here is... I drink milk here, like. Yeah. Whereas out in Canada and America, I wouldn't touch it. Just white water? It's disgusting. There's no point. It's all cow pus. Rotten. Excuse me? Cow pus. <laughs> pus. <laughs> Like, yeah, say it more. Yeah. Cow pus? Aye. Is that what you asked for? Cow, just... pus, cow pus flat white? Yeah, deluxe. With cream on top. <laughs> Flakes. Have you ever had coffee, mate? What? I have. <laughs> have I, bro? <laughs> you know it's like powder. You think a lot of hot countries have it so because they can't keep milk. Right. So it's just like powder that you like stir in. It's like a sweetened powder. and you st- It's like baby formula and you stir it in the tea. Nice. It's not bad. Isn't it? Wait, so hang on. You stir it in your tea and it's just like, it's just more protein? It's like a creamer, you know what I mean? Oh, it it okay. makes it look like there's milk in it, but okay. it's a wee bit sweet. Nice. But we had it in Mexico and we were just like, oh, coffee, mate. And yeah. it just became a thing then. Were you stavi at the house? My laws back in that. Stevie, yeah. Stavi, just making up fucking... Right. Is that what she says? Yeah. Get that stavi? Yeah. <laughs> it's very sweet. It is very sweet. It's like beyond sugar. It's sweeter, yeah, it's sweeter than sugar. Yeah, because I fired it over the cornflakes one night. Into the cornflakes? And I had to pull my teeth out straight after. It was, it was so sweet. Like, what's the difference? <laughs> then to what? Stevie, like, is it better for you or something? Apparently so, I. But sure, she, that's the thing with my mum is <laughs> our house is completely being puppeteered. Like, the contents of the fridge and the cupboards is being controlled by OK Magazine. Like, if they put something out saying this is bad for you, she's like, get that out the fuck! <laughs> and then if they put it in saying it's actually good for you, they're like, oh, well, let me get that back in. We were a margin house for about seven years because of fucking OK Magazine. And then they turned around and said that butter's actually better for you. It is, yeah. And then now we're back to butter. Well, any hydrogenated uh, seed oils, mm-hmm. terrible for you. Yeah. It needs to be organic butter. So you get them fucking lunatics online now where they're like, you know, I'm on keto and the guy's just like, here's what I eat in a day. And he's like, I wake up and I eat two pounds of ground beef and he eats that. And then he's like, throughout the day, it's just a little energy boost. And he takes like a fucking American style stick of butter once again. Probably fake white. Oh yeah, no. You just take a, a block of butter and have a bite of it. Dirty old bastard. It's also mental to wake up and as you're adjusting to reality, put beef to your face. That's <laughs> mental. <laughs> I can barely handle toast unless you're just having two burgers. That's mental. I I do like breakfast foods, but I, I can easily Beef? I can easily eat something else, like yeah. I can't no, I can't I couldn't have ba- I couldn't have two burgers in the morning. Maybe not burger, you know, maybe just the, the ground beef mixed up, maybe crack an egg into it, make it a bit breakfasty. I make it a bit breakfasty, yeah. I don't just be having fucking, do fucking, you know, burgers first thing for breakfast. I remember like my friend Peter that was doing that with nuts. He'd have burgers and nuts for breakfast. Some diet, some caveman diet bullshit. Yeah. We need religion back. That's, That's a problem. I've never seen a caveman with five guys. Or a caveman uh, churning butter. Don't know if they'd figured that out yet. <laughs> they only just got the wheel for fuck's sake. They weren't hanging about. Never seen a caveman with a fucking lunchbox full of chicken tits. <laughs> we daily. We daily. <laughs> Never seen a caveman with two baby bells. Trying to peel that one with thumbs. All right. Fucking it. I love a baby bell. Ah, they're good. They're good gear. Did you do keto or have you done keto or why do I have you associated with keto? In words association? Do I look like I've done fucking keto? I don't know. It, it's 
it's one of those things where like I don't think it would be that hard for me. Uh, Do you know like like I if you if I woke up in the morning had to eat like six eggs and then for lunch just that fucking like broccoli I don't know if you can even eat broccoli like just that broccoli and chicken breasts and then I had something else for dinner and then a snack was like bits of cheese and a pickle. But again, that can't be right. Well, over time, you know what I mean. It's probably not good for you. But it's like it's like welcome back to uh, fat cunts discuss fitness. The thing is. Any of the diets, you're just not eating as much. Yeah. That's the fucking thing. Yeah. Or the controlled calorie meals. They like I need I need a portion of them and be like, this should be too, at least. This is what I usually eat. You listen to the beats? Oh yeah, you're oh you're not hearing that? This is welcome back to fitness advice for two fuck. Oh here we go. So when you Keto's a, pr- a myth. <laughs> Keto's a myth. Take it from me, the guy who hasn't seen his dick in years. No, I can see my dick. I wanna stretch it out. <laughs> <laughs> Want to tape it to the desktop and take three steps back? I can see it. I can stretch Armstrong cocking. Welcome back to See My Dick Diet. Oh, fuck. What's your biggest diet fuck up? I'll turn that off. That's fucking annoying. Biggest diet fuck up? Like as in went to do something and then totally fucked it? Or? Just uh, just like, why, why can't we eat well? I love fuzzy pop. I mm. will say. Would you go for a zero version of the thing? Or no, no, I don't like that shit. I don't subscribe to it. Diet's been in our house from whenever I was away in, so I can't drink that either. If I'm outside the house, I never have a diet coke outside the house. I'm like, we've got, we've got it in the fridge. Like, yeah. Let me get the blueberry one that will give me diabetes. I think mine is just lifestyle. Sure. Just never see, see if I see if I had a normal job and was at the house more. I think I could work my way around it. Yeah. But I end up just eating like a dickhead because I'm out and about. Yeah. Fasting works. I've done Aye. it a few times and it works for me. Just don't eat because it cuts out evening snacking. Which I'm a fiend for. Evening snacking. I love snacking. <laughs> I love. Is he pass pass watershed. Sit down with Elle <laughs> and fucking get a movie on. Sure. Oh, she's a bastard too because she'll. she'll <laughs> I've said it for years. She'll, she'll make Your tea. A bastard. <laughs> she'll make tea and have fucking twelve gold bars on deck. No bother. Like, you know, you can't. It's hard to diet in our house. Like, there's something about old thin ladies mm-hmm. where they eat like pigs. Yeah. Like Maureen's ma eats like she'll she, like she'll eat like fucking. A full bottle of Hellman's in a day on everything. Well, my mum's a picky pig now because she eats, she is the meat and potatoes woman, like, yeah, you know, anything like never once had a grain of pasta, never once had a grain of rice, shallow <laughs> pasta, grain of rice. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the thoughts in your head just don't go to the mouth. Never. They stay, stay up there. I've never had a fucking <laughs> grain of pasta in my life. Not well, I would never put a stick of rice near my face. I swear to God, <laughs> I would never eat a fucking goose on a cart ever <laughs> in my ever in my fucking days. You wouldn't catch me. Uh, no, I couldn't stomach a fill of broccoli now myself. <laughs> <laughs> would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh Jesus Christ I don't know, <sighs> Haven't had a slice of water <laughs> Let it pass my lips this day oh, a Slice of weeder books Oh fuck <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ I'm Another sorry. crack <laughs> Dude fuck I'm only back to health Like literally yesterday Oh my you were sick last week yeah. Weren't you I'm back up to this full shit. bars And I went on full bars That's it I'm full bars It's about 19 We uh We, we fucking <laughs> We fucking uh We dosed you the other week Just to get you up to speed Oh why Am I spitting everywhere With these teeth by the way No 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 you're grown <laughs> We dosed you up And got you on your TV You were like Elvis In that movie <laughs> Give him whatever he needs To get him back on stage <laughs> Fucking push him on stage I'm going in a trap Nail him with a fucking blanket Come on man The Patreon's up to 300 Come on Come That's on, one more time for me Come on, get the adrenaline into his heart. I figured out these TikTok algorithms. Get up the fuck. Get up the fuck. <laughs> Listen, I don't give a fuck about your future. If we can get, you, if we get these podcasts banked, you can die away. You can die in peace. Oh, you're, full of, you're up there full of perks and fucking uh, ibrifin. It's a funny podcast, but it was about an Elvis's day. That would have been fantastic. We can go on the gill. <laughs> Just eating a bone of chicken. <laughs> subject change. Here, it's not far off. You know that final concert he did where he's, there's all cokes all over the place? Not not a million miles away from this podcast. Yeah. 
every station you walk to, there's cokes at it. Yeah. <laughs> you said that about my garage, didn't you? Like, I love the way everywhere you turn in this garage, there's something for you to busy yourself with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ADHD! <laughs> it, literally, it literally looks like it's been set up for someone with ADHD. I'll just be like, computer, stand up, turn around, play a guitar, just turn around. There's a fucking boxing thing. Like. There's a boxing thing. It's just whatever activity you want to do. It is not all crash. It is? It is! The man crash? That's what you need. Yeah, fuck the man cave, get a man crash. I mean, a man, a man crash is a direct result of women being no crack. Yeah. That's what it is. You're like, can you contain all your crack to this one room? Do you, what do you think though about actual man caves? You know, like where you go into it, it's like Dermy's man cave. <laughs> and then it's like a picture of a movie he likes. Yeah. And like a TV. <laughs> like it looks Rocky. Most man caves look depressing as fuck. A Liverpool top and a frame. Some man caves up and I'd be like, if I was in here for too long, I'd hang up an it at all. <laughs> I'd be fucking depressed and that shit all. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, yeah, I would say it's, you know, the fun is in the journey. You know, you're building it and then you're just standing there with a can of tenants like, yeah, the lads will be around soon. Surveying your own shit. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, put me heart and soul into this. Heart and soul into this, sir. Built that myself. TV stand from Ikea. Aye. Pulp Fiction poster on the wall. <laughs> Celtic jersey. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Haven't seen Pulp Fiction now. <laughs> I've got uh, a fridge there full of, full of beer. Nobody drinking except myself. Wife and kids in the kitchen. <laughs> the mates come round, I'm like, make yourself at home, pish outside. Do what you want. Weirdly, the man cave probably would it be nice with a woman's touch. You know? Like if you had your wife come on and design it for you. It'd be nice, you know, a couple of candles in there, Maybe. you know, bit of feng shui. Bit of feng shui. Yeah. I mean, what my equivalent to that is every three months more, and he'll come in here and then give out about how stinking the place is. You know, she's like, it's fucking minging. And I do leave. Remember I left those overnight oats there and you were like, how many overnights have I had? <laughs> how many nights these things stayed over? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> there was fucking frogs barring them. <laughs> It was rank for it. We did a good job. We cleaned it up there. We cleaned it no, up. It looks well now. It looked as good. I stared at pot noodle and a box of granola. <laughs> They're untouched. Do you want a pot noodle? <laughs> Just one singular pot noodle sitting there. That's the first pot noodle I've, I've had in about a decade. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, you know, we're, we're noodle con. I would, I dare say we're noodle black belts. Do you ever point. fancy up your pot noodles? If I'm at home, yeah, I didn't really have many. I didn't spike at this time. I just, what do you chuck in there? I just sure. had a rush. You have a <laughs> I, 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 nice one to yourself. Definitely more pepper. Mm. Maybe a bit of chili flakes. Nice. And maybe... A bit of garlic? I uh, don't know if it would be chopping up garlic or anything. No, but like seasoning? Like powder. Nah, no, no real Maybe I've put extra soy sauce on it before. Or what do you call that shit? Like ca- catsup or something? Is that what that's called? That fucking Indonesian black shit? Put that in. Sweeten it up. Nice. Yeah. But it's not really a noodle, it's like cr- crisps. It's like we crunched up noodles. You know what I'll fucking do? Onion salt. Dirty bastard. That's great. I love it. And yeah, extra soy. Extra soy. Would your ma allow soy in the house? I have to buy it. You do? I, I buy the shop anyway, so I buy all my way is it international any, stuff. Like if anything foreign comes into your house, is she like, what's this Chinese meat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's not dead coke, curse pinks, or uh, meat joint... <laughs> I She's like, what the fuck is this? I'm telling you, like, see, see when you speak to people, um, or you, you're around someone or whatever, the key to longevity is consistency. Mm-hmm. Like your ma will be like, I just eat spuds and beef and diet coke, and that's fucking it. Yeah, you know. Oh, I. Maureen's grander there, but 97 or something. He's like, get up, oats, lunchtime, beef and spuds. Later on, tea and a biscuit, for decades on end. But it's Deep funny. In his 90s. It's funny you said because mom will link things like problems with the new generation to often like things that don't really match up. So she's like, I'm sure you know people didn't have depression back then, and there was no katsu knocking about then. Like, <laughs> she's like, she's like, these are all these are all fucking eating too much, doing too much. The fucking videos and all TikToks. There's no wonder these are fucking half cooked. <laughs> I didn't see a trans till I heard about Halloumi. Aye, and then the Lost Marys came about the same time. Coincidence? Coincidence or not? <laughs> I'm asked, like a conspiracy theorist, but none of the theories line up at all. 5G? <laughs> and vapes at the same time? Gay people and black pudding came about at the same time. <laughs> Coincidence? CIA or no? <laughs> what am I saying here? <laughs> That's a bit. 
Jag besöker det. Jag ser med. Vad var det säger uh, <laughs> uh, Depression and uh, Katsu Kare's are linked. Wagamama's is the reason why all our heads are cooked. Thank you, good night. Thank you, good night. I did see a place and it was like Katsu fries and it was like, it's a curry chip. Yeah. I got black meat on it. It's a curry chip. That annoys me too. Poutine, gravy chip. Gravy chip. Cheese curds, I don't go fuck. It's still cheese. Putting the poo in poutine. Yeah. It is fucking shit. There's no one to it. Fuck's sake, put your headphones on. Hold <laughs> on. Oh, no. Do you like turnip? Yeah. Why turnip? The back door and box. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Legend. Do you like turnip? That's great. Dragon, there's loads of those. Dragon nuts across your face. Turn up for what? Like imagine dragons? Well, imagine me dragging my balls across your head. Is there a wider band in history? Imagine, imagine dragons. Imagine dragons. I mean, the name is enough to put me off forever. Yeah. They just, they make that uh, just weird, not a genre music that's just not great. What do you think their concert would be like? A load of incels. No, yeah. like, a, it would be very, like, uh, I think it would be very, like, clean cut, almost Christian. Yeah. Would it be right? Yeah. Where everyone's, like, scared to let loose, you know? Yeah. Really? <laughs> they, they might have had a Bud Light, but it's gay now, so they can't. Yeah. So they're just like... <laughs> Awkward. White people. Yeah. Clapping out of time. Similar to a Nickelback concert, I'd say. Although I'd go to a Nickelback no, concert. I think, Nickel- I, I think Nickelback would be lit. You think so? Because they, they almost... You see, I remember Maureen's sister telling me, you know, she's a bit of a rock chick, and she was like, don't be fooled by the, rele- the single releases. Mm. She's like, Nickelback have fu- some fucking bangers, man. Yeah. I don't want to play them, but you know that you know they they'll come down on you like a ton of shit. Yeah. Oh, and Nickelback's people. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that was a great trend. <laughs> Look at this graph. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fucking. <coughs> Have you heard Metallica's new album now? Yes, I actually listened to it the other day. And I put the first song on. It was just like man. It was long. The first one's like yeah. eleven minutes or something. Just funny to be sixty and be like, yeah. <laughs> The I songs the are all single, like the single wasn't too bad. The, uh, the whatever one they brought out, all the but names, yeah. screaming suicide, brutal, death stuff. Metallica, yeah, turn up in your house, buck. Yeah, say dang. The, Clint, the Clintons are in the country apparently. Jesus Christ, more celebrate twenty five years of the Good Friday Agreement. See if there's any pussy about <laughs> Belfast as well. I'll be in pugs, <laughs> tugging on some fucking. Big milky titties. What are they? What are they getting up there right now? Like, what would they be at? I don't know. Just keeping up just appearances, f- floating about. It's a bit like um, I'd say Ireland is a is a fun trip for any American president. Mm. You know, you like if you t- if they turn up somewhere else, they're gonna get a lot of fucking stop killing. You know, people in third world country. They're gonna get a lot of that. You come to Belfast, everyone's like, thanks for coming here. I know. Joe Biden walked out like it was fucking WrestleMania. Oh yeah, like Stone Cold. Well, you will be Stone Cold soon. The pop. Unbelievable. Did you see the video of um, a lot of conspiracy pages shared it where he was meeting Michael D. Higgins mm-hmm. and the dog, you know, Michael D. Higgins' dog that's famous now, it's very friendly and it, it came out and like seen him and was like, Arr! Arr! and yeah. everyone's like, oh, it's a reptile. Yeah. The dog can smell the reptile off him. <laughs> what a threat he must be. <laughs> Probably smell the piss off. Yeah. Higgins is like, hit on a hook. Relax, relax. Well, you're relax. fucking sit down, you cunt. Sit down, you cunt. You t- smell, smell the lizard of the whore. Smell the so fucking smell the lizard off him a mile away. Smells like Johnny's pets in here. <laughs> it's <what's> fucking stinking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stinking, man. He's just like, this how he touch the dog. <laughs> do, do people do believe that dogs have intuition? You know, they can sense the badness of someone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Or fear. You know, dogs bark at me because I fucking, I have shit coming down my leg every time I see one. <laughs> Not anymore, though, to be fair. But yeah, Biden was yeah, everywhere he walked out. You know, the MC before, is there anything you want me to say? The greatest president. In- <laughs> yeah, what's your credits? <laughs> Joe Byron! Yeah! At a center in Mullen. Yeah! Then he dropped a mayo for Sam. You Chase know. went fucking bananas. You know, you know, he's just reading that off the fucking page. Yeah. He's like, what is mayo for Sam? He's like, J- Joe, just say the fucking line. Yeah. Mayo for Sam. Ketchup for Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Someone said that they thought, like, that he was um, walking about. No, he looked pretty healthy. They're like, they think Ireland's cured his dementia. 
Really? The good yeah. air and all that there? Oh, why? Well, that's, that's what it is. Biden finally got a whiff of the air. Yeah. You know? The butter over here is amazing. I've eaten nothing but butter. Not a bit of pus in the milk. Not a, no pus in the milk. <laughs> at all. I had one of these Goujon wraps from a Euro spar. Changed my life. Yeah. Loved it. My son would be off the crack if he had, if he had access to good clean water and goujons. Oh, his son is on the gear, isn't he? Big hunter. Aye. Sure, he's a fucking lunatic. He loves it. Aye, he's mad. How old hunter? Don't know. Let me look him up. Is he like prime gear age? No, he's a bit over it. Like, <laughs> oh no. He, he, Come on, man. You know he's over. He's over the. Age. Let it go. He's over the age where you sh- where most people get off it. Like, um, was he in Ireland, Ireland as well? Yeah, he looks. But there's all. Is there not all videos of him pulling the wire off himself while doing coke off prostitutes holes? And all? Yeah, he looks like he's full of gear. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got the gear teeth, doesn't he? Fuck, he does that. My son smoked his teeth like the piano one, big. <laughs> Tom Hanks. There he is, big hunter. Oh my! Get that laptop out, lad. People do get like gear face, don't they? Like they do a lot of gear, and then they have a face that like looks like someone that does gear. Oh yeah. Man, he is a man cave about you. Oh, yeah, nice wee presidential man cave, just full of prostitutes, and yeah, cave. and Wayne's blood. Wayne's, yeah, that's what the Clintons are doing. <laughs> can I get it? Yeah, he has to remember that he's not. Can I get a double shot of uh, children's blood, please? A Nero and Botanic, yeah. Do you guys do adrenochrome lattes? <laughs> I could do with an adrenochrome latte and a suck job. I'm joking about the suck job. <laughs> I'm so old. I never had sex with that woman before. I never had sex with her. Did I bust in her dress? Yes. <laughs> Sue me. You will be found. Dorothy Perkins. You will commit suicide. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. With nine gunshots in your back. Yeah. If you catch my drift. If you catch it. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, we will kill you and make it look like a suicide. Unless you suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> was there not a famous? Was there not a famous Pack quote? Artist. Famous quote from Hillary. There's so many conspiracies. I mean, you know, it's hard to get started on it. But like, she said about him, he, he was a difficult dog to keep on the porch. As in, like, he was just an absolute puss hound. Yeah, you know, that's an absolute. What a line. What a what a bar. And uh, then and then apparently someone else said that she had more like interns than he ever had. As in, like. She's a bit of a closet lesb. Oh, Hillary? Imagine Hillary just shutting the door behind you and be like, get on the desk. Yeah. And just eat your box out. I'll stand in the corner and hold the sharp view cam. Yeah. Oh, what a flex way to get your box up by a, you know, woman of honor like that. Uh, yeah, I'd let her eat my box for this. Yeah. For a bit of a story for the ground. Okay, I'd take a rim job if anybody with, uh, you know, half a name. Speaking of rim jobs, I went to see the, the play Rent the other day. How was that? It's <coughs> gay and AIDSy. Yeah. Oh, it is like about AIDS, isn't it? It is about AIDS. Yeah. Uh, it's good, man. See, see, for a guy like me who's like easily distracted, mm. a musical is a nightmare. You know, like stand up. I'm, I struggle to focus on just one person doing one thing. Yeah. But when it's everybody fucking going, we're gay and dates <laughs> and things and bits and stuff. <laughs> musical. I think it's one of the things you either get it or you don't. I, I like a musical. I don't do you? I don't yeah, think I, I appreciate like it. I didn't think I'd like it until I went to see Hairspray in London, and I was like, I get it. It was just pure serotonin in there. First, would it would rent and Oma be on the same level as Hairspray and the West End? No, probably not. <laughs> no, if okay. I had to, if I had to take a guess, it was good though. Some very talented singers, but there's, it's busy. It's a big play. There's a lot of shit going on and things in the background, and I'm just like focusing on the wrong thing. Like there's someone in the middle fucking ah! like singing and shit, and then I've, and then there's just like someone pretending to be on a payphone, and I'm watching them put invisible coins into it, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'm totally distracted. Right. Like there's a guy who's like a like a drag queen fucking dancing about in like a wee Santa outfit. That was a big show kit. And I'm just like watching a guy pretending like miming brushing a street, you know? Easily and that, I don't appreciate it. And then I near I near kicked off because as part of the immersive uh the play was great. It was actually amazing to be like in Oma seeing that a lot of works within this. It was great. Yeah, it'd be great. But like halfway through it, as an immersive sort of part of it, they've got people up on the balcony throwing rubbish it's just balled up bits of paper but one hit me in the thing and i turned around this guy behind him was like you fuck, where you watch you going you fucking human bitch claim claim and then she's pointing up at the roof and i was like i'll fucking come up there yeah i'll be the guy just not not playing along at all fucking one more m hits me 
El Naka Palaxin. Carry on. No one of those ones you'd say. Carry on. Sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> you fucking bastard. Immersive experience. Shit in like hand, threw it back. <laughs> Throw your glass bottle at them. There is a song uh, that's got something Maureen in it. And I was like, you're going to regret that I've been to this play and heard that Maureen because I'm going to play it a lot yeah. in the house. Yeah. And I probably can't even play it here. We'll get sued to death. By rent. By rent. And between that and my spot on Nickelback impression, they'll be on the phone. <laughs> Kruger will be on the phone. Yeah. What did you say, you cunt? <laughs> Slap around about my songs. Can you give me a wee bit of a... Threaten you with legal action. Never made it as a wise man. Never made it as a wise man. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably him today, right? Off Never off. made it as a white man. <laughs> Did blackface for a bit for the crack. <laughs> this is how... <laughs> you remind me. I would love to have a raspy voice. See, what, what voice would you have? I, I would have... Uh, I would, I would go Kurt Cobain if I could have any voice. I'd take Chappelle's. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Okay. With how I look right now, I'd take Chappelle's. <laughs> I was furious. <laughs> I'm Aaron McCann. I can't do it at all. It is a great voice. That was pretty good. That one word. Yeah, furious. I was furious. Yeah. I'm Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I'm Aaron That's McCann. <laughs> Sitting at home watching movies with my mother. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I don't think get the cans on for it. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get the deepness in here. I was seeing this bitch in America. <laughs> American bitches be crazy. Mary McCann. It legit feel like I'm in the room. Mom. It's bad. <laughs> oh fuck. I was shattered impressions. I can't do any at all. Save my life. It was Saturday night. I said to the mother, Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> do you want a... <laughs> do you want a number from the Chinese, bitch? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I was doing that back. Cut that. Pour that out. <laughs> I was trying to get in the zone. I was like, Chinese, bitch! <laughs> Cut, uh, that was an accent. Cut that up. Censor that out, for fuck's sake. Get off my sofa, bitch. Get a job. Subconscious racism. Talking to all your fucking fat friends on the podcast. Oh, fuck. Let me see some money, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Patreon? <laughs> Lazy fat motherfucker. You smashed my butter dish. <laughs> that be the last butter dish you smashed, bitch. <laughs> I was furious. <laughs> Who drank all my Diet Cokes? <laughs> my DC's is gone. <laughs> Get your feet off my couch. <laughs> You're my dropping an end bomb with the damn Chappelle voice. Fucking damn out of there. She doesn't need Chappelle's voice. <laughs> <laughs> she just needs one gin and tonic in her. She's not even racist. She's just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Cramp on my ribs. Uh, Ken's uh, mom's got a th stick. I <laughs> hear. No, but not like Cardi B thing. Like <laughs> Lenny from Off Mouse and Man thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, mom. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Oh, holy fuck. Oh. Let's get back into it. Oh. Shout out to your boy Blippi for the, the name cards as yeah, well. Yeah, these are great. I feel, I feel like, like I, I feel work like, at a hotel. I feel like, I feel like I'm a madman. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Shag Palace. <laughs> <laughs> My mile will be gone in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Top bunk or bottom bunk? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just helping Mom on with the slippers here, so will be gone in a minute. Yeah, and then I'm gonna show Take her to work. Bitch. <laughs> gonna show her to work Sky TV for forty. <laughs> so the way then, you get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I type. That was a big deal this week when uh, what's her name? Space Ra Space Race. <laughs> what's her name? Ice Space. Ice Space. Space Race. <laughs> Cardi B were all, or no, not Cardi B. Minaj were rubbing, her, rubbing their fat dumpers together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I don't know if I can. You can have the thickest ass in the world, but if you got that Ronald McDonald hair, I'm not. <laughs> I can't get past it. Yeah. No wonder she wipes her asshole to fucking distract you. Yeah. There's no way she wipes like well. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, you got to do it in between cheek claps. Yeah. <laughs> You get right in there. That's why I'm like, I have a right hole in me. Right. And like, I have to. You should have been nothing anyway. <laughs> you in the mix and the jockeys just oiling up uh, your cheeks. Just my squashy ass. Um, literally, it looks like a drumstick squash. Yeah, the color. It's red and white. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that throne hole. Um, but yeah. That's the cheat code now for like a, you know, memed talk about music video is like, just get two thick ladies in and dance about. That's the way to do it. Not to break it down too much, but I feel like uh, Ice Price Rice, she's got, she's got a real ass. Yes. And Minaj has two fucking half a basketball shoved up her pants. Yeah, she's got two bowling balls from Brunswick up there. Like, Yeah. Ice Spice. What do you think of her? Do you think she's an artist? No. Nah. Yeah? The songs are cack. The one that's number one is like... Yeah, my Yeah. I like it. Fuck clean. I don't... I don't like go, this is music. I go, this is a wee fun number. Just for when you're hoovering about the house. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Turn that shit off. You're ma. With Dave Chappelle's voice. Yeah. Your ma with Dave Chappelle's voice. Will haunt my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Well, we had some videos. The Doom Scroll of the Week. Oh, this is the one I was. was I ta- who was I talking to about this? With a fucking. The Last bo- week, I think we talked about Boba Tea. The Boba Tea. Look at that. This is how they do it. Man's milking. That's so small. Why is he getting smaller and smaller? I don't know. But he's... Yeah, that's... He's milking a goat. <laughs> the titties on a goat, bro. Is that titties or bollocks? Why is he hanging <laughs> in the back? Welcome back to the new game show. I mean, that's that's when I'd, I'd be like, nah, I'm not too fussed on the milk. Yeah. When you're squeezing it out of a goat's tits. Well, you don't want to know how the sausage is made, like... You just enjoy it. Goat sausage. Uh, yeah, I mean... That's what we talked about last week. Squeezing the boba tea in. I'm glad we can just walk into a Tesco's and buy it. But how often they shite in the bucket whilst they're being milked? Is that a common thing that occurs? Like, <laughs> well, I mean, the two, you know, the, the bus station's right next to the train station. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And just hoofing out poppets. I mean, I would definitely maybe plug it up for a second while I was doing the milking. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, he's asking for trouble milking out the back. Yeah. I feel if you milked out the back of a cow, it'd be full of shit. Too. Yeah, he's hitting it from the back. No strings attached. No strings attached, player. Can I get a whip whip? <laughs> All day in. Am I going to get cancelled for doing uh, my Chappelle voice? I don't know. I don't think so. Now you've got it. our moral compass here. Don't ask him. Yeah. The horny goat. <laughs> He's like, fuck them all. <laughs> Do all the voices. Uh, when the principal calls, okay, come on, internet, work with me. To give you a quick update, um, Ty is a big humper. He's overstimulated, um, literally humping everyone. Um, and a lot of the dogs did not like it. He is social, but he's more <laughs> concerned about humping everybody than he is playing. In- now, why is she saying that as well? And I think it's from something else, and that dog's just reacting to it. We, I got a message about the bomb squad the other day now. Oh, yeah? You won't like it. Oh. Uh, mate, love the bomb squad pod. I have a weird request. Can you not use the sensor beep sound? My dog loses her fucking mind. And when she hears it, she tries to tear the house apart. I know it's odd, but I'd love to keep watching slash listening on the podcast. Only reason I haven't signed up for the Patreon. <laughs> Is that any better? Smoke weed every day. The sensor what about that? Wow. Just, bitch. just see which one's your dog reacts to. McCann's man. Shut it, Ray McCann. Gotcha, bitch. Shut up, bitch. That's from my birthday. Gotcha, bitch. That's you two, Ryan, from the toilet. Shut up, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Shut up, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the beep nice. is. Real bad man. Um, that was legitness. Second row. There <laughs> 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 There's your man's dogs running into a patio door repeatedly. <laughs> Listen, we're going to do it in three, two, one. Now, fuck you, we do all the noises. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs killed him. <laughs> the dogs just put his tongue in fucking electric sockets. Listen, man, I can't put headphones in. I can't promise anything. You know? We don't make pro. Imagine if it was a different noise the dog was fucking reacting to. Can you please stop playing the no surrender sign? Because. <laughs> Because my dog is full chuck. My cat, just, 
<laughs> my cat just forced its head into a toaster. <laughs> 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 Every time you play that, <laughs> the goldfish throws itself onto the carpet. <laughs> no suicide bet. Uh, apologies. Apologies. <laughs> and uh, well, after a heartfelt apology like that, how could you not go wrong? Like, <laughs> that man just bared his soul. It's, only, it's the only reason he's not on the Patreon. <laughs> F- off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the guy. Sorry, David. We'll try not to. Sorry, but, Dave. You know, it's like a fucking red rag there, but around here, you know what I mean? How am I supposed to stop? My <laughs> head. <laughs> Let's see. Scotland never let us down before on the videos. This dog's got a new rug. You've got fucking three seconds to get off my rug, you fat bastard. <laughs> 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 I mean, never not funny anything coming out of Scotland. Watch how much she's picking her asshole before she starts talking. <laughs> What's this here? Never met like the, you know you for you think the funny bits are going. You got three shades on my rug, you fat bastard. <laughs> Watch how many times she digs in her stink here. One, two, uh, 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 uh. Oh, still at it. You've got fucking three seconds to get off my rug, you fat bastard. <laughs> oh, fat oh. bastard. Pick, 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 pick. <laughs> to be fair, like. The only reason she walked back in the kitchen is to wash her fingers. You get fucking three seconds to get off my rug, you fat bastard. What are you making dinner? I had fucking nine tins of iron brew yesterday. I'm <laughs> shouting through the fucking eye of a needle. You fat bastard. <laughs> Go off my fucking rug. I have two fucking marmite fingers here. I'm away. I don't have time to tell you to get off my fucking rug, you can. My two fingers are stinking. This <laughs> shit. Fuck your dog. I've got two oxo fingers here. Ah, Jesus. My rug's fucked. My jammies are fucked. This is also Scottish. The elephant. Arthur Roger. Arthur Roger. T for Tommy. T for tangerine. Aha, uh-huh, yeah. S for sugar. Sugar. O for onion. Onion. And N for Niagara Falls. <laughs> That was Niagara it. Falls in Canada. <laughs> Niagara Falls in Canada. <laughs> As opposed to what? <laughs> that was literally you cancelled that flight the other day. I know. You for Uganda. <laughs> D for Davy. <laughs> to see when you're on the spot. Y like for you know yourself. C for come here. <laughs> 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 Oh fuck! It is hard though. Like whatever you're put in the spot, like that, <coughs> you know. I know what we should do. I'm gonna get the real phonetic al- alphabet, and I'm gonna see if you can guess the real one. Right? right, right. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't look. Right. This is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna test your phonetic <laughs> alphabet. Right. Oh, well, this is gonna be bad. You gotta guess the real one, okay? I'll just pick random ones. V. V. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> We're doing the phonetic. I'm not teaching how to speak. (laughs) He's like sort of fucking speech therapist, and he's like two v for v, b b. They teach you the fucking p one. That's how they learn how to spell. But they're like, "What? How do you spell your name?" Say ah ah ra oh no. So, you know that, what you were trying to do on the phone, where you're like, you for Uganda? Oh, yeah. Like, there is a standard set of phonetic All right. Uh, v for Victoria. Look at this hair. <laughs> Cute. <I've> seen. <laughs> seen by. Seen kid. Best head of hair in the country. If we get a thousand patrons, would you get a mullet? Would you get a mullet shave then? For a thousand? 
Aye, for a laugh for a bit, my ma be fuming though. You look like an idiot, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grow your hair until a thousand patrons. A moth? I'll do a moth for a thousand now. I'll shave it. I can uh, cut hair. Two thousand of it. V for... <laughs> eh? Two thousand of your cut it. No, I'll tell you, I can cut it. special. V for, what did you say? Victoria? Close, Victor, right? Not bad. Uh, why? <coughs> yes. <laughs> yes, lad. <laughs> yes, buddy. Yankee. Right? Q. Uh, Queen. Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is an actual alphabet. That's but but this is like standard on. radio chatter, you know, if you're a pilot. Because uh-huh. you could have a different accent. You don't want to be like doing, you know, like, what? Yeah. Oh. Ocean. Oscar. Right. Are these are they all names or are they things as well? They're sort of like, I think they're supposed to be things that are globally known as a word. Okay. That are easy to say. Okay. So like K is Kalo. Mm-hmm. Um, R. Roger. It probably is, but it says here Romeo, but it probably is Roger, is it? I don't know. This one, this one is uh, does not have, it's not a legit thing. This could be wrong, you could be right. G4. Garden. <laughs> you should know this one. Garth. <laughs> <laughs> it's Garth, fuck's sake. It's not, it's Garth Brooks. G A R F. Welcome to the stage, Garth Brooks. <laughs> Garfield. Gar. <clears throat> what would Tyler say? Get it up. <laughs> Golf, you moron. Golf. Oh, right. Right, we'll do two more. I for Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> it's India. That's close. But why make it longer? A. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Arn. <laughs> right, well, what's W? Well. Like a, like a water well. Whiskey. Whiskey? That's wh- that's a bit rogue now. They're just well known words. Like you you know no you, like if you said Garth to well, a fucking Indian guy on a flight, you'd be like, What is Garth? Well's a bit about longer than whiskey. Whiskey, yeah, but it's a word you know, they have whiskey everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Alpha Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. Golf. Foxtrot? Yeah, for Fuck F. off. It should be fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Is that, what's that What's that song? What's you? Unicorn. Is it Ashley? No, it's not. Union? It says her uniform. Uniform. Ah, yes. That old chestnut. That old chestnut. So there you Any go. Any other crack? No. <laughs> not really. Guy went off a. I didn't tell you this now. That other guy, we were driving home the other night, and um, <laughs> someone had on a bend near our house, which drops into a big field, went clean through the hedge and landed in the field. Jesus. In the middle of the night, and we were all pissed in a van driving home. The driver was sober. And uh, I was facing back a ways in the van, like facing back, and all I heard was, oh, stop the car. Maureen's dad jumped out. He's like, what's going on? He's, he's all right. No, and some guys just went, I did on. We're all good. And then next day I drove past and some guy, like, they'd went fucking clean through the hedge and the drop is probably like fucking, like a 10 meter drop. Yeah. On their big sloping hill like that. And the next day in daylight, when I seen it getting towed away, the car was totally fine, which means someone has just absolutely fucking jerks a hazard. Like, <laughs> boom. Straight up in the air and just went goosh yeah. onto the floor without flipping it. Very impressive. That is very impressive. But very cultural. And I think it was like a Jetta or something. Of course, you know what I mean? Some lads trying to fucking, you know, check the phone, vape out the window and just. It is very funny too for someone to ask if you're okay after your vehicle literally goes off a hill and say, I dead on. Oh, I totally. Which is one word off tragedy. Yeah. I dead. <laughs> Imagine, I mean, any response is a good response. Yeah. You all right down there? 
Na? <lacht> It'd be like fucking, you know, Will Ferrell and uh, my legs are quite badly broken. <laughs> Not just my best now. They're beginning to smell quite bad. Couldn't, oh, couldn't do a day's work. The bone is coming through the skin. <laughs> no, lad, you wouldn't ring us now. <laughs> taxi or something here. <laughs> my shin bones in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Imagine he was just like, I... I've lost my wallet here. <laughs> you wouldn't give us any of your torch in your phone. <laughs> but the car was fine. Thank from, God for that. The wheels like blown out a wee bit. Like, but, yeah. but Dutch Frank did the same thing in the snow. He's done that a couple of times, hasn't he? Oh, the man can't. The, the set, you know, I don't know what happens in the Netherlands when it, there's adverse weather conditions. Yeah. But over here, he's like, oh, it seems to be raining. Let me flip this MX-5 <laughs> nine times into a wall. You know what I mean? Some pub. Some pub. And then home for a fucking whatever Dutch people eat. That what was do a, Dutch people eat? Ah, oh, fucking dog treats. Basically, oh, yeah. it's a lot of like... Small meaty treats? Yeah, it's a lot of just che- cheese, small little lumps of cured meat. Yeah. More cheese. I like that. A lot of bread. <laughs> and then like just like a horse steak or something. I like when you go out there and the pubs, like they do like wee things like that. Like wee breads and meats and oh, yeah. cheeses. It's nice. It's good. Like they eat like high fat. It's nearly keto. They'll eat like high fat small amounts of shit and just be skinny and hot uh, and tall they do love their breads though oh they fucking love their breads don't you just can't Jesus? fucking right but they do like a horse meat pasta or something in mcdonald's over there horse meat pasta something like that frank was that was the first thing he did when he was off the plane he's like man i can't go another day <laughs> can't go another day away getting this fucking crispy pancake with horse cock in it. that's his chicken ball special yeah pretty much yeah that's the, the smell the taste of home yeah it really oh, is horse cock yeah Although he did, we were in Paris actually, and he got some sort of, um, we were in a camper van, and he had a basically like a Ziploc bag filled with just what looked like raw mints, and you cut the corner off the bag, you know, as if you were like piping it on the fucking cake. You just cut the corner off the bag, and he's like, like a, like a vampire too, uh, you know, like an angry pig. He was like, oh, I love this shit. And then he left it out on the table overnight, and you know, Paris was about fucking 32 degrees. And all the blood seeped out of it down the table. <laughs> Which, so Dutch. First thing in the morning, they get up, hung over, and just see the bag of bits on the table. And I was just like, Ugh. This ship. No, again, you wake up and the first thing he sees is a block bag of bands. It's a rough morning. Like. It's a rough morning. I've been there. I've been there. And then that was the day we had to empty all the piss out of the, the side of the thing. It wasn't even piss. We'd, we'd use the toilet for everything, pass the water. What's it like emptying out pish that's like gathered up? This is exactly how you'd think. Yeah. Warm. <laughs> smells like piss. Yeah. Covered in piss. What's the smell like? Piss. <laughs> but like more fragrant than your normal piss. Because it's like a cocktail of piss. Well, it's, you know, it's like you know, four or five people flavor. drinking for 10 days straight. Yeah. And doing that fucking Smithix piss. Cloudy. Cloudy. It's got a head in it. That IPA. Indian piss. <laughs> Think of a cool way to end this podcast. <coughs> Hell no, see us later. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to get out of here. I'm sweating on the back of my knees. Cheers for joining right, us. Uh, what else have we got? What, Patreon. Uh, ah, Patreon. Get on the Patreon, of course. Uh, we've got bonus episodes on there, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. You're not alone. There's loads of people on it. You're never alone. You're never alone, but you're getting that extra podcast every week, and then any bonus shit coming up in the future. And that's about it, my dudes. See if you get me stinking, me freak. We'll see you next. Do something in Chappelle voice. I can't do Chappelle voice. Later, bitch. Nice. Best luck to you. Best luck to you. See you later. Cheers for listening. And take care of your friends and family. And all. Keep it humble. <coughs> the Chad Kroger took it out of me. <laughs>